All right, folks, here we have a Pride Victory LX Sport in the box. So if you're gonna order a Pride Victory LX Sport and it's delivered right to your house, this is, what, this is the way it's gonna show up. It's gonna be on a pallet, maybe not the full length of the box. The box will be on the pallet. Your seat will be on top of the box. So the first thing you would do, you need a, either a box cutter or a pair of nippers. I like the box cutter. Take your seat. Put your seat on the ground. You will cut your straps. As they, you can use the box cutter also for the straps. Actually, a box cutter, you can, you can do just about everything. Take your box cutter, open up the box. So when you open the box, make sure you do not lose any parts. What you'll do is you'll take the charger, put the charger here. Your mirror will be also, your mirror and your manual will be in the top portion of this right here. In the top portion of this one. So we're gonna get rid of that. Put your parts all together here. The next thing you'll do is you'll take this, this empty foam cover out. You have some sides, real heavy. And then if you look inside of here, you have your tiller inside of here. So you need to raise that tiller up. So raise the tiller up. And right here at the bottom of the plastic, tighten up your tiller right here. Once you've got the tiller up, this is called the tiller, you can pull the plastic out off the tiller. Garbage. Pull this other foam out. Now you've got a bunch of foam. Pull the basket out. Put your basket over here with all your parts. Right here. Next thing you'll do, you have a, a back foam. <clears throat> you have a front foam. You have a piece of cardboard in here. Now you have a couple ways you can do this. Take your box cutter knife, go to the bottom of the box, and you can cut the back off. You can do it from the outside if you want to. Watch your fingers if you're using a box cutter knife. These are sharp. Let the box go down. All right. We're getting there, folks. Some more loose foam. Now, at this point, if you're by yourself, if you're by yourself, you would grab the front of the scooter here, like this, to get the foam out, like that. So this is the bottom, the foam that was under the scooter. If you have two people, it's a little bit easier. You can grab the back of the scooter also, pull the foam out. So far, so good. Some more foam, roll it off the plastic. Now, the next thing you'll do, you will go to your, so go to your parts right here. In your manual, you have your key for your scooter, okay? So before you put the seat on, you're gonna take your key, there's two keys right here. You're gonna come over here to your scooter, pull the tab off, put your key in the scooter, 
turn the key on to see if the batteries are on. So right now we can see there's no battery lights. So what that means, if you turn the key, there's no battery lights, you have to pull the cover off. And when you pull the cover off, you pull from the side of the blue part right here, and it comes right up. And what you do now, you can see the batteries are right here. You can see the cables are right here. They're not plugged in. They're right between the two batteries. So plug one on one side, plug the other one on the opposite side. Do not force these cables in here. Okay? Do not, if they don't plug in, one on each side, and that's it. So the reason I didn't want you to put the seat on first is because if the batteries are not connected, now we have lights all the way across. Put your cover back on. The cover just snaps back on, okay? There we go. Now the scooter is in neutral, as you can see I can roll it. If I turn the key off, you can see it rolls. I'm gonna put it in gear, right here's your gear. So when I took it off the box over there, I put it in neutral so I can roll it off the box. But now, I'm gonna put it in gear. You can see the wheels are locked. All right, so what you're gonna do now, you're gonna grab your box cutter that you had earlier. You're gonna do the same thing. Front, side, side, open the seat box. When you take the seat box, <clears throat> you'll have some parts here for the arms. We're gonna put this on the ground. These are gonna be your elbows for your seat. There's one, there's two, these are going to be your arms. You should have two of these in here. So here are your arms. Take the plastic off of them. One. So make sure when you unbox these, you don't lose anything. Because I've had people call me back and say, there was no arms, there was no keys. It was there, they just didn't put it in the right place. Your seat is in here. The seat weighs about 35 pounds. It's a heavy-duty seat, so I'm going to take the, take the foam off of it. Just make sure you don't cut your seat like I... Be careful with your knife. Alright, so we're getting there. I'm going to put the seat on the scooter. So when you put the seat on the scooter, you can see the mail piece there. So go to your mail piece. Put it in there, turn the seat the way it's supposed to be. It should fall and lock. Then you can, there's a lever here on the side. On this side is a lever. I'm gonna pull the seat up. And now we have the headrest. You'll put the headrest right on here, adjust the height. The next thing you'll do, you have two elbows. One will go here, so you have to unscrew these knobs right here. They won't go until you unscrew the knob, and then you put it in, okay? I don't like to use these pins, but I like my arms tight, so I'm going to put that pin in here. But if you tighten up the arm, the, tighten up the, look, the knob, it takes the play of the elbow out, so you won't have any play in your arm. So I'm going to take that pin out, put it in the back seat. You can use it if you want. I don't like them because I like to have my arms to be tight against the seat. But if you tighten up these knobs back here tight, right here, there's not going to be any play. Then you will drop one arm here and one arm over here. Now, you still have a little bit of play here, okay? There's an Allen wrench right here. You can adjust the height of the arm. You can see how high I can go. If you tighten up that Allen wrench right here, and you, that, that'll take that play out of the arm, okay? And the last thing is your basket, your chargers here, your owner's manuals here. So as soon as you have the tab out, you put your mirror in here and you start screwing it, okay? You can have it on either side. Then when you get to the bottom, if your mirror winds up, let's just say the mirror winds up here, that's not good. Just unloosen it a couple times, turn the screw right here at the end by hand until it, it tightens 
and then you can adjust it to where you want it. Do not pull the mirror physically with your hands this way, it'll crack the mirror. Do it with the, do it this way. So if you want it more, just tighten it up a little bit more here, and then do it this way, and now you can adjust your mirror. So, so far, you can see now we have power in the scooter. We have power all the way across. So, so far we've talked about how to undox your, unbox your Pride Victory LX Sport. This is what you'll have left. You can break these boxes down with your box cutter and get rid of the stuff in over a couple of weeks with your garbage man or something. I wouldn't, all, I wouldn't put it all out by the side of it in one time. But this is how you unbox it. And this is what the finished product would look like if you're ordering the um, Pride Victory LX Sport. Thank you again for your time. Hi, I'm Mark. And my name is Alex. We are a family owned business for over 25 years. We have many products available, not just what you see in this video. If you would like to learn more, you can call the number below at 800-677-6293 or you can visit us directly at www.marksmobility.com.